all of you welcome back to yet another project video in this project you're going to build your web3 chat gdp where you're going to sell the membership using nft and user can use their chat gdp on the blockchain let me give you a quick overview that what you're going to build in the next couple of hour you can simply ask your question here write a letter for office leave and it's going to give you the response and here we got the response from our chat gtp and you have noticed that our input text is disappeared because we have completed our free trial so if i want to use if the user want to use this chat gtp they have to take the membership and that's what you can find here free member left five out of five you can increase this number to any number but we are providing five free trial and we have a different so they can simply take the membership so here we are promoting one membership which is a three mary but here you will find all the membership you can add as many as you want so i want to take this membership click on this select plan and here i have to make the transaction and here i'm back in this and here you can see i'm in the pro membership and now i can easily able to search for the next one month so we are diff selling different kind of membership for one month six month and one year let's have a search we have different categories which you can pick let's ask for the personal advice give me some personal advice about coding and it will respond back to you take your time and don't be afraid to ask question coding can be complex process so it's important to take your time and make sure you understand each step before moving on beautiful advice now you can go to the email generator and you can ask for an email so we'll say write a letter for office leave and give a valid reason it's going to generate the letter for you all you have to do is to simply copy paste and send to your boss <laughs> i won't recommend you do that if you have a valid reason then do it otherwise don't try to lay a leaf like it we got it now let's do the password generation generate strong password hit enter and it will generate the password for you now let's ask for the travel advice click on that give travel location best and here it will give you some of the location which you want to go and beautiful places let's write a ac so write a ac on lion king for five years old it's all about your creativity that what kind of prompt you ask and here it will give us a response so the lion king is a classic disney movie that has been loved by loved by children and adults as well so it will give you the entire story of the lion king which you can have a look so beautiful response we are getting and here we got the entire story of a five years old now you can generate the code as well let's click on that and we can type write a solidity code example you can ask whatever code you want to write and it's going to create that code for you so every single thing is working fine and let's click on the social media let's ask for it build social media strategy for let's say fitness or you can search for the blockchain coder and it's going to give you a couple of advice which you have to do to promote your business on social media and here we got the entire strategy for our social media you can click on this ask code we have different category which you can pick from and you can store so this is what you're going to build and we're going to click on this and here you can display all the important question which you want to highlight for the users or you can store the information here there is other plans right now we have this three membership but you can add 10 20 is totally up to you this is the membership click on this question this is the question section where you can highlight some of the important question for your clients for your users about the memberships about the pricing plan click on this and this is the promote plan and here we can store the user of the information about the user so they can easily able to update and create their account as well and here you will find the plan of the user that what plan they have taken and their id and the coin and this is the expiry date so after this the plan is over and they're not able to use our chat gtp and from there they can update their pricing sorry password so all of the things are working absolutely fine and these things we're going to build you will build all the chat gtp features but you're going to also build this particular landing page for our chat gtp which we can use to promote our application and i will show you one more thing at the end of the video that you will get the complete ui styling of this entire chat gtp so just wait till the end 
So this is how the front end would look like. A landing page we have designed for this particular chat GTP which we use to promote. But we have a lot of pages. So right now we have this dollar because if you want to take the subscription in form of dollar, integrating the Stripe payment gateway, you can very easily. So come here, we have this navigation bar. You can click and you will have here. Now we have this about, you can add the different pages we have. Again, I will show you at the end of the video. And let's pretty good. Here we have the login, click on the login and we're going to build this page as well where user can come and log in. So they can sign up and they can log in. Let's sign up first. We'll say Dalat Hussain. Then we'll take the email ID. Then we'll take the password. And we have to confirm the password. And click on the sign up. So as soon as the sign up will start, here you will find that start chatting. Click on that. It will take you to this page and here you can able to find the information. All the data is available. So you can update your password. You can update all the information. Let's provide the last name. But make sure to provide all the fields together one more time because that's the logic I have built. You have to do the same thing for the password as well. And this looks fine. All the data is updated. You can change the password as well. Come here. And this is the home page. Things looks pretty fine. Nice over effect we have on this card. Now we have this search feature component. This is the feature component. And this is the one. And this is the ultimate features. What are the features we are providing? Then we have the pricing sections. Then we have all the things. We have the dollar, but we're going to convert it into a matty. Or we can also provide the dollar payment gateway as well. And we have all the common ask question by the user, which you can display right up here. And we have the feature section, we have the footer. So this is what we're going to build in this particular project. And this is what we're going to build. So these are the two pages we're going to design. So now let me take you to the source code of this application that what we're going to code exactly. So here I'm back in the VS code and we have the component, we have the context, we have the contract, we have the template. So in that, the final UI template is given to all of you, those who will take the final source code. In that, we will have all the pages. But in this video, in this project, we're not going to build the, all the projects, we'll build the chat page and the index, the landing page. But if you take the final code in that, all the pages will be provided to you. So just wait till the end and you will find that what you will get. Here we have the public, we have the script, we have the server, backend server, we have the style folder, testing, utils, get hardware config file and all of this configuration. So here we have some important links which you can click and have a look. So this is what, uh, what folder and file structure we're going to structure in the project. Now, if I click on this and that you will find that we have three components. We have the authentication, chat and home. If I click on the authentication here, we are handling all the user login and logout, all the feature we have implemented here. Now we move to the chat and this one is quite huge because we have multiple component and we a lot of different functionality is going on. So you can see all of this component, we're going to design it together from scratch and we're going to build all the logic. Now we have the home page and this one is for the landing one. You can click and you can have a look. So that's all looking great and all we're going to code it together. So this is the entire component and close this one. And this is the context folder in that we are building all the logic for making our application possible and providing all the features. So click on this context here we have the contract, ABS and the address. That's all you can find here. Here we have the index here. We have built all the logics quite huge. Then we have the contract. So this is the NFT contract we're going to build together to provide the memberships. Then we have this template where you will find all of the templates. So first we'll have this asset folder in that we'll have the CSS. And the best part of this template is that it is provided in both format, the SAS and the normal CSS. So if you were want to use the SAS compressor, you can use it. Again, a detailed project will come on this. The project is already ready. It will be live within uh, two weeks. So you guys can follow that, how you can follow the SAS structure or the CSS structure. So it will be given in all the three format, which you can pick. We have all the images. This is the JavaScript and all of the CSS. So if you look at the CSS file in that you will have all the SAS code we have written and divided in multiple component. And you have to know that how SAS work, how you can, how you can build a different component for the CSS as well for styling your component, your home page or your form imports. Then we have the layout. Then we have the pages, utils, vendor and that you will have the compressed version of our SAS and that will, that you will also learn in the project, which will come very soon. 
but all of this data all of this CSS file will be provided to you in the startup file so you don't need to code because we're going to follow a different architecture we're going to follow a Telvin CSS class model so this CSS styling will be given to all of you all we have to do is to use in our in our component and the styling will take place because if we start coding this entire CSS this video project is going to be very huge so again a detailed project will come on this CSS and SAS so you guys can follow that so you can see we have written tons of code for this entire project which you don't need to worry about it but I would encourage you to come and have a look on the CSS file that what logic we have implemented and this is the SAS all in the imports we have done here close this one and this is the this is the close the CSS this is the font we have this is the images so all the images we are using in the project that's all you will find if you really want to change anything make sure to change and give the exact name so this is the home and we have the block as well so if you take the final in that you will have all of these files and this is the library we are using we are not using any CDN we are using internal library to perform all the actions in our front end so it looks pretty good and this libraries are also given in the startup file so you guys can simply download and we have all the CSV icons we are using in the project so we have tons of the icon 404 authentication we have character contact feature home pricing service social all of the icons will be given to you in the startup file so you don't need to worry about it and here we have all the pages this is the 404 then the block details grid listing chat contact us login and all of the pages you will find here is this one and we are done with this template the final template now come back to the come back to the let's say pages and that we're going to build all the three pages so we have the app js where we have done the configuration and import in the files then then we have the chat page then we have the index page and we have the login page so these are the three pages we're going to build we're not going to build all the pages then we have the public and that we have the entire asset folder the css file and the javascript which will be given to all of you guys in the startup file so you guys can import we have all the files and all the custom javascript we have written so this is the entire javascript which is absolutely mandatory because this is the one which allow us to interact with the chat gtp api and build all the logic and here we can categorize the free trial and the paid trial and here we have the sbg here we have the icon close that one close this one and we have the script this is the script for deploying our contract now we have the server and we are using our backend server for providing these features so these are the packages we are using and this is the entire code we have written this is the entire code we have written for making our application possible now this is the style folder again we have the asset folder here all of the folder here so I'm not going to remove it I'll just leave it on you guys that what do you want to use you want to use the SAS or you want to use the normal CSS but in this project I'm going to use this normal CSS and here we have imported all the CSS file and here we have written the custom CSS for our application if you want to change anything you can definitely which I will show you again in the project so this is the asset folder now open this test this is the unity here we have built some important function which allow us to interact with the contract open wallet connect wallet a lot of things we are doing if we come back to the GitHub, here we have done the configuration for our hard app so you can deploy to the polygon or any network but we are focusing on the local because many of you said that let's do it on the local and make a separate video for the polygon or any other network so we are focusing on the local host this is the configure you have to do this is the packages and file and here we have the important links which you can follow looks pretty good you can get the final code and you can get the startup file and see that this is what you will get in the final code once you will download that now let me show you that what you have to do once you will get the final code how you can install the packages how you can generate the api deploy the contract and test in your local system so let's do that so this is the final code you will get when you will download the source code just click on the servers and here you can see the very first thing you have to do is to you have to get your own api key from chai open ai so here is the entire source code we have written the only thing you have to do is to get your own api key and paste here so this is the api key which you have to get come back here open up your browser and type for open ai click on the very first link and you will come to the official website so if you have already have your account you can simply sign a login and you can sign up both our options you once you will click on that here you will have this three option chat gtp delta e and api we are looking for the api and click on the api 
and here we will come to the place and here you will find all the services chat gtp provide all the ai which you can include speech to text fine coding everything but all you have to do is click on here and click on this view api key click on that and here you will come to your dashboard and here you will find all the api key you have generated so already i have generated this particular one and here you can able to find all the use case so you'll find the detail about your api use so when you will create your first account right now it will give you five dollar credit i created this account back in january 2023 at that time they gave me 80 dollar credit but i was not using this particular account and this that's why this credit got expired in the month of April. So what I did, I created, a, I bought the the API services, and I'm using that in my project. But if you create your account, five dollar credit, which you can definitely use very easily to build this application as for tutorial. But if you really want to launch your application in Web3 space, then definitely you can take the plan, which is very minimal. And here you can find the rate limit. So they have different AI models which you can use you can generate the members you can see the billing period so you can easily able to add the payment method and you can include so click on this i'm individual and you can fill up the data to buy the take that so but we're going to go with the free one so i would encourage you to come here create your account fresh account and you will get the api key from the open ai if it's not giving you the free credit then i would send you that change your api key change your ip address because once you create your account using the same ip address and then changing the email id and creating a new account sometime it will not allow you and not will it will not give you the free credit make sure to change your ip address to create a new account to get a free credit if it's not give you the with the old one so to generate a api all you have to do is click on that and give the name what you want so we'll say chat gtp and it will give you the api key which you can copy and use in your project but this will not work because in this account i have to purchase so that's why I'm showing you the API key. But I would suggest you don't share with anyone because obviously it's going to be over and you have to pay money for that. So paste your APK here and that's the only thing you have to do. That's the only thing you have to do because all the setups I have already done, just provide the API key and everything would be working fine. So let me paste my active API key so we can test the application. So here I have successfully pasted my API key and everything is done. Now we have to for do a couple of general setups to follow so open up your terminal and now what we have to do come back here in the packages and file and these are the exact packages you have to install these are the exact packages if you don't install if you install any other version it's not going to work that's why i'm telling you install the exact packages and again i'm going to provide you this entire packages and file in the starter file with other the images and the sbg file so you can download the starter file and install the way i'm doing right up here Otherwise, you will encounter an error. What I have noticed that some of you have installed hardware globally in your computer. And because of that, you guys are not able to deploy the contract. So make sure to use this particular version. If you have installed the hardware globally in your operating system, uninstall that and install in this particular project. If you have installed hardware globally, maybe hardware, that particular hardware is in different version. And here I'm using a different version. So if you use, it's not going to work and it will throw an error. And many of you have encountered this error because of you have guys have used the hardware globally in your computer. So make use in the project. So this is the exact version you have to use. If you get any error related to the hardware, make sure to check your packages and file and whether you have using this particular one or you have used the advanced one or the old one. So let's come back to the server file and here we have to install all of these packages, cross, dove, experiment, and nodman, and openai. So these are the files we have to store, install. So open up your terminal. Now split your terminal. First, we have to get into the server file. So cd server. And this is the exact thing you have to do. Open up and we have to simply, let me show you. This is the command we have to run. So first we have to install the package. So we'll say we have to install these libraries, npm i install, or you can type i, and it will install all the packages. So we are installed with the package. Now we can start our server. So we'll type npm run server, and this is the command we have to run, server, and it will start our backend server. And you can see our server is started on localhost 3000. But here you can simply change the localhost. You can change 3000 or 4000, but in the startup file, in the final code, you will get this 4000, which I'm going to update here. So you can change this here. So if you do any changes here, we have to do a couple of changes in other places. So let me simply stop the application from running. So here we have made the changes to 4000 and we have to do the exact same change in our front end part. 
So you can see right now our application started on 4000. Now we have to do the changes here in the come back in the public, go back to the script and we have to do the changes here because here we are making the API call to our backend. Once we complete this entire project, we're going to deploy it to internet so user can start using straight away. And we're going to run our backend server in a different location. Again, everything will be explained completely to all of you guys. So simply come here. This is the 4000. We have to change here 4000 as well. And save it. And that's the only change you want to do if you really want to change the port. So things are looking pretty fine. Now close this one. And now we have to install the library here. So come, these are the packages we have to install npm i and it will install all the packages we are using here so it's going to happen very quickly just a moment and it's installing so this might take a little bit longer and you can see that i have no issue because all the library which i'm using here i'm using is as a dev dependency i have not installed as a global in my computer so that's the thing you have to keep in mind if you encounter any error try to install one package at a time so you know you guys can identify that what library causing the issue so clear the terminal and now we have to start our local blockchain so simply type npx hard at node and this will install the local blockchain in your computer which you can use to test your application and the best part of this hardware is that it will give you 20 plus account and each account contain 10,000 fake ether which you can use to test your contract so you can see we have all of this contract and by default hardware will use the very first account for deployment of your contract you can see we have this account zero and hardware you will use this particular account for deployment of the contract so make sure to import this particular account in your metamask to make the transaction because our contract is dependent on honor so only honor of the contract can call the function certain function in our contract so this is the address hard will use simply copy and we can paste it here and you will get the same address if you use hard so this is our deployed account and we have multiple accounts so simply open one more terminal and here we have to simply deploy our contract so first we have to let me find that script so this is the script which you have to run npx hard at run network localhost script and deploy it so we are deploying our contract if i open this this is the contract we are deploying hit enter and it's going to deploy our contract and it will generate the address of the contract and the abi so this is the address exact address you will get if I come back here, here you will find the artifact folder and the caching folder. Inside the artifact, we have the ABI of our contract. So here we have the cache. Now what we have to do is we have to bring down the ABI here in the context file. So our, our, our function can read. So here you can see that this is the exact address you will get when you will deploy a contract using hard hat. So come back to the artifact. Here we have the contract. Inside that we have this ABI. Simply drag and drop here. And this is the entire ABI for our smart contract, which we're going to use for performing the transaction. So simply clear the terminal. And now we have to start our application. So close this one, close this one, close this one, and come back here. We have to simply type npm run dev. And it will start our application on localhost 3000. So you can see that our application, our backend server is running on port 4000, and our application the front end will start it on 3000 but if your front end is running on 3000 if your back end is running on 3000 then it will automatically go to 3001 in your front end so here we have simply copy that one and come here and click on this and if you click on that it will open it 3000 and it will automatically open our metamask which we can simply connect to our local so simply do one thing click on that let's provide the password unlock and we are connected with the application if i open the metamask you can see by default i'm using this particular account the first account and it use and this first account was used for deployment of the contract that's why you will find less fun in it so looks pretty good our contract is deployed and everything's looking fine now let me show you that if you want to import any account how you can do that because many of you have asked this question so you can have, you, all you have to do is to take the private key of any account so i'll take the private key come back in the metamask Click on the accounts. Here we have the import account. Paste the private key and import. And it will have this 10,000 ether which you can use to test. Let's come back to the account too because this is the one we have used. So things are looking pretty fine to me. Now let me show you the backend server. So if I change this to 4000, you will find that our backend server is looking fine. Hi, Dollar, welcome to chat GTP. Looks absolutely fine. Means our backend is also running fine. Let's change this to 3000. 
and come back to our front end so our front end is looking absolutely fine come back to the chat and now we can start working on it so right now you can see that right now we have this five free trial so we can search for five after that we have to upgrade our chat gtp account so if i click on this right now we haven't deployed any contract any membership so first we have to deploy that one here we have the hard coded one but we have to deploy it so come back here everything's working fine so we have this free five free which we can use so let's use that five and after that we're going to deploy it so let's ask a question we'll say hi chat gpt hey how are you hi 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 there how can i help you and you can see it's what increases to one let's bring this down let's come here and things are looking pretty fine now come here in index and here you will find that here we are fetching the information and here we have this function which allow us to list our membership all we have to do is to pass all of this data and it will initialize our contract which i will show you how you can do it so let's increase this let's create a first membership the user has to pay one medi coin this was for one month and you can give any date this is the date for the starting at the time of recording this video and looks pretty good close this one and now come back here in the pages and here you will find this button which is commented i'll simply open the uncomment this button and we have this function already there if i come back here here we have the function now i can simply click and we can create the membership so what i will do i'll simply do the inspect element come back to the console console and here you can see we have this function click on that and the transaction will fail the transaction will fail if i click on confirm the transaction will fail so let me show you the error and this is the most common error you will find when you will try to make the transaction with the metamask okay and this is the error will you find in the localhost as well so there is no problem in the code the only problem we have in the metamask because we have switched our account so there is some history is there in the cache and because of that the transaction is getting failed so you have to remove the cache from the metamask and that will fix the issue so this is the error the very common error you will get so all you have to do is to open your metamask go back here and go to the settings and here you have to click simply clear activity by tap data and this will fix the issue this will fix the issue now if you click on that it will open the metamask and you have no issues in that the transaction went through and here you will find all the information now let's come here in the context and we can simply provide one more membership this is the three mati coin for the six month save it come back here in the front end and call the function and here we have confirm and the transaction went through simply reload the browser come back here change this to five mati coin change the time period for one year and save it the time is same now simply click on this list membership and we can simply confirm the transaction so we have created these three memberships you can create as many as you want but i will go with three come back to the chat and here you will find all the information so if i click on that you can see our sidebar is working absolutely fine now we have this membership so here we have all the different membership one mati coin three mati coin and five which user has to pay for taking the membership now they can click on the select this plan so now what i will do before i take the membership let's use some couple of free the trial is there so what i will do i'll simply come here i'll take this say hi chat gpt it will give us this as usual response let's do something very quickly we'll say how made you then we'll say why and we'll give you this long explanation that who made there now let's ask the last question have a nice day and you can and as you can see that our free trial is over now we have to buy the memberships to use chat gtp simply reload the browser and nothing will work so what we can do we can take the membership so simply come here pricing and i want to take this membership so let's take this three medicon and it will open the metamask we have to pay and buy the nfts and here you can see we are on the pro memberships so after that simply close the browser and here we have that input field and pro member now you can search as many question you want to ask for the next six month because that's the plan we have taken write a letter to the blockchain coder for building amazing project on chat gtp clone web 3 and i want you to leave a comment in the description that you guys are enjoying and you guys are excited for building this project 
This will teach you every single thing which you have to know about the NFT use case and how you can use it in different models for providing your services. So earlier we have a centralized payment gateway, but now we are using the decentralized payment method to sell our services. And this is the perfect example for you to build a beautiful application like this to solve a real world problem. So this one is absolutely looking fine and everything is working fine. Absolutely. You can see everything is working fine. So now I hope you guys have understood that what do you have to do once you will get the source code and how you have to initialize it, how you have to deploy the contract, how you have to do the configuration for your open AI api key and how you can deploy run the server and test in your local system now what i will do is now i have to show you the complete template which you will get along with the final source code so once you will take the final source code in that you will have the complete template and this is what you will get so let me give you a quick overview so this is the front end beautiful animation which will be given to all of you guys so right now everything is looking absolutely stunning and you can customize as per your choice as per your branding so let's come here let's come back to the chat and here we have the chat one you can click to the different tabs and open close this one and we have the user profile as well so this is the one section we have this is what we have let's come back to the home and now let's have a look on the other pages so let's come back to the pages so you will get all of these pages 404 click on that this is how the 404 page would look like now you can simply come back to the login page and this is how the login page would look like looks pretty good we have all this different one user can search now if you come back to the reset password this is how the reset password would look like you can easily able to add the backend where you can allow user authentication come back to the otp section this is how the otp page would look like come back here go to the block grid so we are displaying block system as well because block systems are really very important for you to optimize your service and product so you can rank on google and you will get some free traffic so this is how the service would look like beautiful stunning design we have nice animation going on everything is absolutely perfect for all of you guys and this is the hero section we have we have the different card component where you can display the information about your application about your business and about the features you have got this is the banner and this is the photo section come back to the different page block listing so this is the another style you will get you can pick any one you can pick the grid one you can pick the starting one but we look nice over effect nice styling we have you can scroll and you can have a look so beautiful you can come up here and now we can go to the block detail page and this one is the most and my favorite part because it looks stunning and we have this comment feature as well which you can easily able to add it and again by the way if you haven't followed the api development course which i have close to 13 hours long project we have built together we have built the entire backend api which all you have to do is to build that api and connect in this particular application and your application is ready so this one is the detail page we have the feature image and we have the comment system let's come back to the term and condition and this is how the term and condition would look like this is again absolutely beautiful now we can come back to the services section that what are the services you are providing we have a different card components that's all you can highlight and promote looks good we have all of these things which you can have a look from your end and looks pretty good now come back to the pricing section we have seen all of this now come back to the pricing and this is the hero we have a different card component and this one is great come back to the contact and user can contact you so we have the location form and all of this thing and we have the login page as well come back to the home so this is what you will get in the final code this is the template you will get which you can use to customize so we have this nice sidebar and this is how it's going to look on a tablet nice over effect so this is the page we're going to design it together we have all of this component which we're going to build together come looking fine and the reason why i have provided this entire template ui template in html css and javascript that you can easily able to convert it into any framework and that's what we have done here you have seen that we have converted this entire template into a next year's template so that's a powerful thing and that's why i have given you this into a html folder so you can convert into a angular react typescript any framework you can use all you have to do is to simply modify that the way we're going to do it together in this and we can use it in our next year's project that's looking fine and 
If you want to get the final source code and the startup file, you have to come to the blockchain coder and you can find all the courses we have built, what I do here in the source code section and here you'll find all the projects we have built together so far in the last two years that's all you will find so you can simply come in recent and here you will find the project or you can simply search for the name type chat gtp and here you will have that one simply click on that and you will come to this page you can get the final code and that you will have the templates and all the feature functionality which you have to do and you will get the starter file click on the starter file and here you will have the starter file which you have to download it now so we can start building together all the important links so in that you will have all the component all the assets all the css file will be provided to you so you can simply download it and you can get it so come back to the blockchain coder and by the way if you haven't taken this particular course in that i have explained that how you can become a front-end developer and learn about the modern technology so this is the course for you this one is the huge code majority of the students have loved it so far you can watch the particular video and see then what you're going to build the reviews are amazing so i took me four months to build this project and i tried to include the best technology which i can provide to all of you to master the development so once you build build this project after that it'd be very easy for you to build any type of done dav because you have done all the hard work here and it will help you and give you a very good advantage in your future development the only thing i want to cover in this particular video about the, our upcoming project which we're going to build on chat gtp web3 memberships so hope you guys are excited if you are do let me know in the comment section that you guys are excited so we can start building this phenomenal applications and you guys can start launch your own web3 chat gtp and make money online have a wonderful day bye, -bye.